Catalyst.io. Music licensing yeah, reimagined. Great photographs can elicit thoughts, feelings and emotions when words simply will not suffice. In this film we examine the movements and the iconic names in photography that not only helped pave the way for the great fashion photographers of today, but also continue to challenge the worlds of fashion and photography to construct new ideas of beauty and storytelling. In theory, fashion photography is the same as catalogue photography, but is it selling products or making art? Well, yeah, the difference between selling clothes and making art, we can invert that. We have to sell art also, so we have to make clothes and sell art at the same time. I believe a good portrait is a nice fashion picture, and a nice fashion picture is essentially a portrait. There's somebody behind the clothes. I think we can easily look at the surface of seeing the, seeing the designer, seeing the clothes, but there's an attitude behind there, you know, and that's a good portrait image. For many years, fashion photography was catalogued to sell garments. It was all about retail, it was all about available garments, putting them on a body to see how they're looking on, on a form, and it was about selling that garment. Fashion photography now has evolved into something that's magical. It is lyrical, it's about the flourish, it tells a story. So the garment somehow becomes secondary, or the garment, it's, it's, it's actually a photographer, a stylist or a fashion director, a model, a makeup artist, an environment. It still sells the garment, so that's the end result. But in the meantime, we are taken somewhere, we're transported. Well, I think fashion photography can easily be an art, as long as actually the, the vision is there. You know, it's, it really depends on actually, like, you know, priority. You know, design, as a designer, like myself, for example, you know, I could be a commercial designer if I wanted to be. But, I mean, though actually I may not be good at it, but if a designer is interested in creating art, I think, uh, you know, the, the border between actually fashion and art could be so blurred and uh, uh, one could declare a photography as an art um, an object. People like Xavier Valhenrat. So Valhenrat was an art-based photographer in Paris in the 80s. He was picked up by a small known publication owned by Condé Nast called Lay Magazine, where Mario Testino and Bruce Weber and Peter Lindbergh, they all did their first round. But Xavier Valhenrat was this art photographer that would take 24 hours to shoot one image. But those images are still in my mind. I remember them because of the detail of the joy that I received when I saw them first, I still get it. So that's magic. And that's, he sold so many garments for different brands, but that fashion photography that is that lyrical and that exciting is potent and you remember it forever. I think fashion photography is an art form where it, where it, it is about capturing a moment. Um, there's so many magazines out there, there's even a lot of uh, social media pages out there and they've got swipeability. And the question that one could ask from uh, way back then to today is what's going to stop some, what's going to be arresting enough to stop the eye? What's going to stop somebody making me think a little bit? It's that essential moment. Cardi Brisson called it the defining moment. The past century has seen many great fashion photographers, but only an influential handful have been creative enough to have altered the trajectory of the art of photography. At the forefront of the movement was Edward Steichen, whose pioneering work in the early part of the 20th century essentially constructed the creative discipline which photography, for the most part, still adheres to today. The 70s saw Helmut Newton and Guy Bourdin bring their unique brands of sexuality and surrealism to the art form, helping redefine its purpose and push its artistic limits. Many people have posed the question as to what makes a great fashion photographer. I think uh, you've got to have a faith in your vision, um, not trying to be someone else, you know. Um, if you believe 
within your own vision and then you're determined to actually to pursue it uh, as an artist. I think, uh, I think the creativity ideally should be a, a driven force uh, behind the money, uh, not other way around. So what makes a great fashion photographer? Interesting question. They also have to know the heartbeat of the time because it's a mix of modernity and then it's a mix of nostalgia. It's a mix of respect for the form and respect for the garments. It's a photographer's kind of, a great photographer, great fashion photographer, someone that finds the sweet spot, finds the balance. Yeah, that's why, 3% of photographers have 95% of the business because they, they can work it out, whether it's happenstance, luck, their talent, or all of those things in varying degrees. They, um, they're able to transform what they do into a couple of mediums, and one is artwork, and the other one is meeting a deadline and, and taking arresting pictures and giving themselves an innate style. Uh, I think what's missing these days is a lot more of a style in the, in the old, you know, let's call it the old days, the golden era of uh, fashion photography, um, or the, the modern golden era of fashion photography. Uh, the previously mentioned uh, Bruce Webber's, Mara Testino, um, uh, Stephen Meisel, everyone had their style, you know, and that's what people banked on. Whereas I think it's a lot more homogenized these days. I personally think the best photographers can tell a story. A story that I'm finishing it. That's like the best author. The best author puts words on, on paper, tells you part of the story, but your imagination completes it. For me, the best fashion photographers are, are those photographers that allow me to put that image into a story that I'm creating, and that's the gratification. I think it's a two-way street. We work together. The art of a good fashion campaign isn't set in stone. Fashion photography, like art, moves with its leading talents and the prevailing cultural zeitgeist to remain fresh and relevant. To understand them both a little better and see how we arrived at where we are today, we've compiled a collection of some of the most important eras in the evolution of fashion photography over the past 100 years.